Hey y'all. Today we're gonna break down and reassemble a uh, Penn International 30, um, oh, I'm sorry, 50 SW uh, two speed reel. I already cleaned this reel up. All we're gonna do is break it down and put it back together just so you see how it goes apart or comes apart and goes back together. I'm gonna start with the left side, work on that, and then we're just gonna work our way down through the reel. So to remove the left side plate, I'm gonna do these five screws here. And when I do that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe, that like button, if you appreciate the content, and be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Now, as I said before, everything, everything in this reel has been cleaned already. Uh, I did grease the bearings already. So I don't need to do that. But basically everything else has to be done. I'm going to set this to the side and also this spool here. Let's work on this plate. So I'm going to pop this uh, bearing out so I can grease inside that hole. dogs out then we're gonna remove these springs here So let's hit this hole with some grease. Where those screws are going to go. A little bit around the post. And we're going to grease these. should be good. When you tighten these things down, make sure you have that clip under um, under that bottom portion of the post there, so it's not riding up on top of it. And I'm gonna stick the bearing back inside. And we're just gonna place the dogs on. While I'm here, I think I'm gonna just grease these uh, screws up, then place them inside the uh, the left side plate.
All right, so that's done. I'm gonna work on the spool next. Uh, you can also grease, I'm gonna grease here, but you can also grease that ridge right there because that's where the uh, the um, the plate sits uh, against the frame. So there's opportunity for salt water to stay in there and just kind of corrode away at that stuff. All right, so let's do the spool. Pull the, the pinion out. Let's get these back on there. So we're going to start with the uh, drag side first. Just be a little careful with these screws here. You don't want to strip the heads off of these things. It just comes right up like that. Off of the plate or the drag washer, the plate and the second drag washer. I'm gonna leave that out. Let me find these screws so I don't lose them. So now we can undo this plate over here. This is uh, the clicker. Pretty loose. I left them loose so I could get them off easier. So off that comes, this might be a little sticky. I don't remember what this one was. Oh, it wasn't that bad. All right, so I'm gonna grease inside here, inside there where the bearings sit. Also going to grease here where the quick plate sits. And this is only a light amount of grease, it's not a lot. But you want to make sure you get a nice even coat on there. We're also going to grease the back of this quick plate. install it we're gonna grease the holes around the edge all right next I'm gonna go ahead and grease the, uh, the drag washers make sure my hands are clean and for the drag washer it's just a light amount of grease on the plate or on the, uh, the washer itself it's not a it's not a whole lot. Uh, it's actually kind of hard to do this wrong because if you put any excess on there, it'll kind of squeeze out. But you want a nice even coat. So I'm going to grease the back side of this where that dog will, will ride. And I like to make sure I get inside the, the grooves inside there. I'm 
also going to be seen there where the pinion is going to go. That looks good. Same thing for here. And that should be good too. I think I might end up taking this glove off. Actually, I will. up and move on all right let's get the bearing put inside the smaller one will be going inside here I must take that plate on notice when I was greasing this I put some grease inside those holes as well I don't want to do that so they don't get um, frozen inside there. in already. Stop it. Alright, so I'm going to tighten these down. Kind of wanted to have these pretty snug. Uh, there's some vibration going on on the boat and stuff, uh, especially on this clicker plate. Uh, when the clicker is going off, there's, it's adding vibration to this as well. So you want to make sure it's uh, it's pretty snug in there. So now we can go to the other side and get that finished up. I'm going to come back afterwards and grease that plate. Alright, so the bearing goes first. Next will be this uh, drag washer with that uh, sloped edge. drag plate or the drag washer just like that and normally I like to um, <coughs> use my pinion to kind of guide this spring and the second or that drag washer on but I don't need to because these two have grooves inside them so I'm just gonna rest it down like that then put this on top. Now before getting any further, I'm going to add some grease to these holes here where those screws are going to go. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, but first, I like to put these screws inside the hole if I can get them in there because that's tough also but put all of them in and then rest it on top The 
these small screws can be uh, kind of frustrating sometimes. So we're just going to do it this way. I do want to get two in there though. Let's go ahead and get these two secured and then we'll work on the other two. I'm just trying to find the hole. I will press down on this side, not on that side, so that screw doesn't pop out. And that's going in. So now I'm going to go to the other side, get this one set. Alright, good. I'm not going to lock any of these down yet. I'm going to get all the screws inside there and then we'll work on um, tightening all of them. Alright, so now we can tighten these down. Uh, I like to go opposite where we're doing this. So that side to that side, and then this side, and then across from it. So let's go ahead and get some grease added to this plate here. You don't need a lot, just kind of a light coat there. And that should be good. Now we can get the pinion and grease that up. That should be good. And I'm going to take the clutch washers or the tension washers here, add some grease to those as well. And the way these sit, it's kind of like a flying saucer. So facing each other, flying saucer like on the next two, same thing, and then on. Now we just stick it through.
we're good with that. All right, so I'm going to take off the frame so I can attach this. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this part. All I'm doing at this point is uh, removing these three screws and the other screws that are under here so I can remove this frame and put this on. Before I do that, I'm going to work on greasing up this area as well. Let's set this aside again. And let's pop these things off. I'm going to do this. Alright, good. All the screws out, there's this plastic piece that goes under that. I'm going to grease inside here. Put these holes where the screws are going to go, or the studs, plus the holes for the screws on the stand. And even though I put the uh, grease on top, I like to get in there a little bit to get it kind of started on the threads that are inside the holes. Grease here where that plastic uh, shield is going to go. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> then we're just going to stick that on. And I'm going to do the studs first. Alright, so let's put these studs in. And I'm going to tighten them down. 
What you do is just be careful. You don't want to touch the side of the plate. There's a red raised edge right here. If you go too low or get close to it, you can scrape it. And now we can put this stand on. I'm adding grease here, but you actually don't need to do this. Uh, this is kind of overkill. But if you're only doing it once, why not? Just tighten these down and kind of cross cornered. So from there to here. And I'm gonna add some uh, oil to, <coughs> to these threads. See if that fits. That's good enough. And so is that. Alright, so now we're going to put the left side plate onto this. And it's going to sit just like that. So the left side plate will be going here. Grease around there where that lug will go. I'm also going to add grease to these holes. Get one of your lugs and put it on. We're going to get our left side plate and get that attached. Make sure we're not missing anything here. And I think we're good. Uh, there's a little groove or notch at the top here. That's where this lug will fit, like so. I'm just going to screw them in.
All right. Tighten these things down. Now you don't need to go in any particular order here. Uh, this is just a flat plate on top of another flat uh, piece. So there's no concern about uh, kiltering this. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick, <coughs> make sure our dogs are set before we do that. Stick our, our spool inside. I'm just going to rotate that pinion to get it set in place. And it is. And while I'm here, I'm going to grease here as well. Should have did it before I put the spool in, but. And also, these holes where the screws are going to sit or go. case I forget this I'm gonna stick this on that way I don't all right now let's get the right side all right so what do we want to start with here um, Go ahead and take the uh, <coughs> the two speed out. So we're going to undo these two tabs here so we can drop our two speed out. Now let's unscrew this nut. doesn't drop out <coughs> when you do that to get that to get the, the gears out you have to push down on the two-speed mechanism so just like this and it drops out like that make sure my pins are still there that's good and we're gonna kind of work our way backwards on this one <coughs> I'm going to do this plate here. And one of the few things I'm not going to take out is the uh, are these posts here. I keep forgetting what they're called. comes off. That's missing nothing. Push that assembly out. Careful with this. And I am going to take out the uh, <coughs> the clicker on this. So we're going to do that first, then kind of work our way backwards. So you just got to remove that nut right there, or back it up. Come straight out like that. Then you have this one washer here. Some reels will have two washers. Uh, 
Uh, the second one is like a lock washer. There's like a little tab that you can put that inside there. This one doesn't have that. So we're going to grease the hole. The back side where that washer is going to sit. And while I'm here, I'm going to grease a couple of points. One being this. And the second being in here. Let's stick this clicker back in. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. You're gonna have a pointing somewhere in that area right there is where you want it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of it. But you do want it secure. And that feels secure. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to this um, clicker. It's a brand new clicker because it had to be replaced. So I'm gonna add some oil in there. Gonna work that in. And that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and save the uh, the two speed part for last. We're gonna work on this on the cam assembly, and then we're working on all these other things. So let's separate this out. Good way to do that is just screw up for the. Uh, the bearing in that plate to come out of there. And then this is essentially going to separate if I can get it. Sometimes they're stubborn, and it's usually because of user error. Like meaning I did something wrong by t tilting it, but I'm pulling it out and then it gets stuck. So now I gotta rock it back and forth. All right, let's take these pins out. So I'm going to grease all these things up. Even that threading inside there. And for any none of these things you need a ton of grease. Uh, but you do want to make sure you grease them. And I'm going to add some grease inside that slot right there. And that all looks good. So I'm just going to set this back up. Uh, first we're going to start with putting the pins in. I'm sorry, putting the bearing in. So we're going to put that plate in. 
and use a screwdriver again to kind of get that working inside and backing it down all the way to the bottom. Essentially what you're doing here when you do that is putting this the reel in free spool so in with the bearing let's see if we can get our pins inside here too far out. Let's find out. set in there like this when you set that in you want to make sure that pin is all the way at the bottom there's like a little U or a curved there's a little curved spot right there you want to make sure those pins are sitting inside that <coughs> Take our thick washer, get that to the bottom, and then just work our, our cam inside there. Okay, so I'm going to oil this. And this one as well. That's all that's going to need. All right, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on. Make sure this thing is all good. Sorry. This portion here, this is the knob. To remove that knob, you can simply take a flat, flat edges of a screwdriver and kind of work that up. If it doesn't come up that way, you can raise one end. Can we raise one of these ends up? Kind of like so. And that should help it come up. You have to support both sides of these of this tab here. To get it to come off. Wash on here, you do not need to uh, grease, but I add some, I'm gonna add some grease to the uh, tab that's gonna go inside uh, that receiver over there. That's good, and this is one of those things where you don't need to take it off uh, unless you really had to. which is kind of doubtful. 
worse things happen. Okay. Pull these two things out. I'm going to take this off. Um, and the reason being is because I want to grease inside there. So I'm just going to take this apart really quickly and put it back together. Grease inside that hole. And I'm going to grease right there. Take that back on. Oh, uh, let me show you something on that. On that lever, it's bent at the top. So it'll be facing that way, just like that. Alright, so let's work on a two speed. We're going to take the pin out and the spring out. This way we can push those. Sometimes they're balls, sometimes they're these little nubs. Take those out. Then we can take the gears off. Gears sit like this. Taking the support plate off the back. So the gears will sit like this. These points obviously are going to be facing up, and the concave or the indented part of the uh, high speed gear will be facing down like that. And that's how it'll look when you assemble it. If it looks like this, then it's incorrect and it won't function properly. All right, so we took all these things off. We're going to grease them up. Add a little bit of grease inside here. I'm not going to grease the spring, but you certainly could. I'm going to grease the gears. Alright, so now we can put those back together. I'm going to stick some grease in these holes right here for these pins to stay inside. Uh, let's put our first gear on. I 
again that goes that way. Now we can put our plate on. And you can just rotate it like that to find the holes. Uh, it's upside down. You want to make sure the uh, the concave part of those holes are facing down. Now we're just going to go ahead and screw these in. the handle to secure or um, to tighten them to make sure they're secure. I'm gonna take this handle and support the top so that I can secure those those screws there and these do need to be pretty snug uh, I have seen where these screws will come undone I mean that's usually a product of not really servicing your reel uh, for many 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 years or something but still it can happen, so you want to try to secure those. All right, in with the spring. Pin goes this way, looking just like that. Then we're gonna take our two pins here. The curved end will be facing out, the flat end goes in. Uh, the reason being is there's a groove on the inside of this. Uh, let me leave it like that. I'll show you in a sec. And the reason you do this here, uh, add the grease there, is because this won't really set in place yet. This is not going to really set in place yet. So. kind of wants to have something there to kind of hold on to it. Oh, that looks good. All right. So inside here, there's a little channel that those uh, pins are going to ride in. So there's a couple ways you can put this back in. You can get it there like that push against it with one hand while you push down that sometimes work doesn't always work or you can take it like this I'm pushing it against my chest and then I'm gonna push these pins inside gotta move this gear out of the way and I hope I'm not really blocking it what you cannot see is that I'm pushing against the two-speed with my chest. But now that's in there. And you can always tell it's, it's set in place when this turns freely. If it feels rough or tight, then you still need some more ways to go. Alright, so the next step we're going to do is put these covers on here. These are going to sit is just over the larger gear. I 
So we're not going to tighten these down yet. We're just getting them uh, started. Then we're going to adjust them. Stay. So you kind of want to have it somewhere in that area right there when you're going to tighten this down because sometimes it's it moves on you and if it doesn't move on you you want to move that back over to just over the edge right about there so let's see if we can still move that or not that's no, pretty tight so just about right there is good uh, i don't like going very close to the um to the other gear but as long as it's secure you're fine and that looks pretty good for that one this one I'm gonna have somewhere around here to allow for any kind of play or movement I didn't really get any movement on it I just kind of show you what the end result will be that's essentially how it's going to look. Just have one <coughs> right over that, uh, the high speed gear, the larger gear. And same thing for the other side, but make sure it's not close to the, uh, to the gear inside. That looks about good. So now we got to do this all over again. That's my fault. I didn't push it too far up. All right, I feel better. Okay, now we can put this washer on. We're gonna put our our lever back on. And what I need my screws. Add some grease to these holes here. That should be good enough. And our plate we're going to put over. Make sure this bearing is set inside all the way down. I'm just going to kind of rotate that tension knob where you find it, find the slot. Oh, excuse me, I didn't put my lever on. I was going to sit like this, just like that. Then we're going to put our cover on. And that doesn't, the lever doesn't need to stay in place, so the fact that it's flopping around is fine. We want to make sure the tension knob is, is set though. And the reason it doesn't matter is because when you get this uh, plate down on top of it, you can work this lever back and forth until you feel it catch, which I can tell is catching because I'm pushing my finger up as I move that lever. So now we can screw that in. That's the wrong screw.
snug the screws down and we're almost done. Now we can bring our our um, our reel back over and get it put together. The rest of these things can go on afterwards. Greasing these screws also. Before I do it, let me wipe this this reel down. and put this on. And that looks good. Alright, so let's secure. We're going to put a screw here, there, there, and there. We're not going to put a screw there or there yet. Because that's where the This quadrant is going to go. Now when you're putting this, the right side plate onto the frame, uh, if you're having difficulty getting it, uh, getting it on, you can put the handle on first and then put the plate on. And the reason being is because the uh, pinion might be getting caught in the gears and already set so you can rotate the handle to work the gears or mesh the gears together to put this thing on. I'm just going to make sure we're looking good here before we go any further. That feels good. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten this now. We can go ahead and stick the <coughs> the handle on. I'm greasing right there and on top where the locking plate is gonna sit. And also that hole where the screw will go. Cap's gonna go on first. Might add a little bit of grease inside here. screw it in. Now we gotta work on lining this plate up. That looks good. And this one might take a little bit of time for me because it's uh 
that one's off. It's a little snug going down there. That looks right, but it may not be right. No, we're off again. If you get that one of those notches lined up uh, pretty close to the hole, you should be almost in the right spot. That looks like it is. last words. We'll see if it works. And we are off. part of this video so hopefully we'll get it without any cuts on your reel it's probably gonna be simpler than this uh, just for some reason this is a really tight uh, we can stick our our quadrant on and then we'll be done with the with the reel add some grease to where those posts are gonna sit get our posts in there get grease on these screws as well and now we can stick our quadrant on just by feeding it through the gap on the uh, on the eccentric lever I want to make sure that's set to the free spool position and there's a little curved part or bent part in the middle here that bent part is going to be facing I don't know how to describe this one whatever position you put it in you want to make sure that this looks level on the reel if you put it one way it's going to be aiming down Put another way it's going to be set properly 
So I'm just going to feed that through the the uh, gap in the eccentric lever on the knob, excuse me. Then we're just going to screw this in. I'm going to kind of secure these two first. And then work on the middle one. I used to like doing the middle one first. But I think in my age, I'm getting clumsier. And it doesn't. I want to listen to me. right and it looks right let's finish these screws up and it will test the reel out all right so essentially that's how you put together uh, or take apart and put together international 50 SW 